Hey guys, so before we start today's video, I'm going to start out with a little preface. Now, I know Sundays are typically for like vlogs, travel, um, miscellaneous kind of videos, and today is a bag review as you've already seen from the title and the thumbnail. No surprise there. However, I have had such a crazy week. The video that was supposed to go out today never was filmed. I filmed a couple bag reviews um, in succession a few weeks ago so that way I could have things scheduled to go out. So I had to pull up Wednesday's video and publish that today. Now, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it a whole lot, but um, I've had a huge life milestone. Um, happened just 72 hours ago so I had no time to film what was supposed to be today's video honestly and um, also some exciting things to announce here in about a month on this channel. Um, I have a few, huge opportunity coming up which is super exciting and it's just been a crazy week you guys. I can't wait to tell you more about my life milestone and I will here in a few weeks um, once I you know get everything hammered out and finalized you'll probably notice the uh, set behind me will drastically change but I'm not gonna say anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Yes, I know it's off schedule and whatnot, but it's a Louis Vuitton bag, so enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be discussing vintage Louis Vuitton. Interested to learn more about this little bag? Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. My name's Caleb, and if you're new around here, I post a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, what's in my bags, collection videos, travel vlogs, daily vlogs, you name it. We have a lot of fun on this channel, so make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content every Wednesdays and Sundays. Now, this week we're discussing one of my favorite vintage Vuitton items, the Danube. Now, I know that this one, it's long discontinued. I want to say they probably stopped production on this early 2000s, maybe mid 2000s at the latest, but it's a fabulous little bag. The size that I have is the 21 centimeter, which they measure in height. There's also a 15, Ariana Grande actually has that one. It looks really cute. It's probably way too small for me. And then there's a much larger size, like I mean, pretty generously larger than this one. Now, I do have the 1997 Lou catalog, which does list this bag, the Danube 21. The 15 must have already been discontinued as the larger sizes were probably as well. But the original price point for this in 1997 anyway, so the USD price for this, now hold on to your seats, this is gonna, this is depressing, $380 USD. That stings a little bit. And the Canadian price was only $510. I mean, I would even take the Canadian price at this point. Gosh, LV prices have skyrocketed since then. As says the price for this bag, I bought this on the lower end, probably about four, maybe 500. And right now I know Fashion File has quite a few around 800. Now this is a discontinued bag. So let me show you some things to look out for when purchasing your own. These are things I wish someone had told me. Now the chaps on this bag, that's what this little Vachetta piece is called, are so annoying. Irritating is putting it kindly and very mildly. So this side is actually still in pretty good shape. It's, it's still pretty firm. Um, the color is amazing. The, the patina on this entire bag I think is amazing but this side can you see that on camera this side it's so soft it's malleable it never keeps the strap straight it's a mess so I highly recommend when you look at the photos make sure it looks like this it's still nice and neat as opposed to this where it's stretched out and sad now I have considered getting the Vachetta replaced just to get a new chap but then I'd lose out on this beautiful honey patina and that kind of defeats the purpose of having a vintage bag so I might just wait until it tears through which I hope it doesn't but if it does that's when I'll replace all the Vachetta until then I'm fine with it now this bag has an outer compartment as any Louis Vuitton vintage fan knows Sadly, the Vietnite lining, which is what that horrible man-made lining is called, will eventually erode and just disintegrate inside your bag, leaving behind a sticky, dusty mess. Now that's something to look for, especially when buying overseas. I know in more humid climates, that lining just disintegrates almost immediately, especially in some places here in the States, that lining is not meant to last. Now, lucky for me, I think at some point someone had already replaced the lining. So I actually have that kind of LV, how do you describe it? That, well, let me just open the bag. So all of my pockets are actually now done in that kind of almost Taiga stamped leather. So I have that one and then there's also a slip pocket on the inside of the bag. Both have already been replaced. So I got very lucky in that regard. Now, another thing to look for is the shoulder strap pad. Now, once these go bad, they start to crack and just disintegrate and completely fall apart. Luckily for me, mine is still 
fairly malleable and in great shape. There's not a single crack anywhere. And also, if you're buying this on the pre-owned market, which of course you will be because it's discontinued. Okay, I can't get mine to undo, but there is a Louis Vuitton made in Paris or France stamp underneath that. So you want to make sure and get a good photo of that just to make sure you have an authentic strap pad. So those are my tips and tricks on buying this on the vintage market. Now one of the things that I do love about this bag, the strap is very adjustable. So on the strap there are seven adjustments. I of course, I'm six foot seven, I'm very tall, so I have mine on the lowest setting. Now you could have it all the way shortened up if you wanted to each their own, no matter how you wanted to carry it. I do think that given the size and style of the bag, it looks very cute kind of higher up on the body. Overall it's a great bag for traveling. So the reason that I bought this, I was on Instagram and I'll be honest, I just needed a quarantine shopping fix. This is one of my many quarantine <laughs> purchases. And I saw this on a young man. He was traveling. I forget where he was. It looked beautiful wherever. And I absolutely loved the bag on him. So I thought, you know, we do a lot of traveling through Europe. It's a nice enough bag that people will recognize it, but it's not too in your face. Now, for those of you who know me, know that I don't love having a huge bag with the LV monogram. Yes, I'm guilty. I used to have the Speedy 40 monogram and I wouldn't hate having it again for sentimental reasons. But these days I like to fly a little bit more under the radar and carry all leather bags or just interesting things. Now, this bag, it's small enough that I think that the monogram doesn't scream too much. It's just the right amount, quite honestly. And it's just a perfect bag for travel. It's the right size to slip in your passport in there. You could easily get a Pro Max phone in there some room keys and your wallet. It's just the perfect little shopping bag. Now, I will say I hate carrying this daily as like my two work bag. The strap gets in the way at my desk and my office. And honestly, I don't like crossbody bags to begin with. I'm, I'm tall and they just kind of bunch up my shirt. Typically the straps are too short and they look kind of weird on me. So crossbody bags are not my first go-to. That's why I only have like three in my collection out of all 20 some, but um, <laughs> it's a lot of bags. I like this bag. And another great thing, you can slide your phone here in the front, which is great if you're out shopping, you can easily pull it out, take a picture of something or Google something real quick. Fabulous little bag. The dimensions for this bag, it's eight and a half inches tall or 21 centimeters, hence Danube 21, six inches wide and about two inches deep, a little bit under two inches deep. And the strap drop length is about 18 and a half on average. Now the smaller version of this bag, let's see the Danube 15 is, drum roll. Okay, so this one's really small and you're not gonna get a phone into it, but it's only five and, five and a three quarters inches tall, four and a half inches wide and one and a half inches deep. So size wise, it is literally these four LVs. It's a little small, but if that's your thing, wear it, who's gonna judge? Now I know this bag also came in epi leather. I think I've seen a few special orders in Taiga. There was of course the Supreme collab here a few years ago. And now there was another limited edition version. I think it was Runway. Timothy Chalmay wore it, it was like, Tiger leather and then it had the um, the key holder hardware across the front. It was pretty cool. Um, probably pretty noisy and, and clicky if you think about it with all those um, dangling hardware pieces, but a neat bag nonetheless. So next up, let's take a moment and see what all fits here in the Danube. So here we have the Danube up close. As you can see, it has just a light Vachetta trim. Mine has a really nice honey patina minus these two water spots from a previous owner. Anyway, the back of the bag is just plain monogram. And of course you have that slip pocket here on the front and then the interior lining, it's just in that Louis Vuitton kind of textured leather and there's another slip pocket inside. So let's um, fill this up and see what we can fit in there. So if I were, you know, here in town and this was just a normal day to day kind of day, say that five times fast, I would just have probably a smaller wallet just because of my smaller bags, I don't want to carry a full size wallet. So I'll just use this product card holder. I don't have it loaded up just because I am using a different bag and a different wallet. So just imagine that this is full of credit cards. You can hold quite a bit in this old product card holder. So we'll just drop that one in. And of course, just Edo blotting papers, especially in the summertime. Now with the keys, you're just going to have to um, kind of, I always do this in my bags and just kind of fold them in half almost. So we can slide that on down and that'll fit in there. Of course, our headphones. And the Danube is not a large bag, you guys. So that's pretty much about as much room as you can get and still have room to fish things out. So let's zip that up. And then typically with this bag, I'll just take my cell phone and then slide it right here in that front pocket, which is great if you're traveling. Now, this is what I would carry if I was, you know, just bumming around the city for the day. Now, if I'm in Europe, obviously, or traveling abroad, I'll have to have my passport. Now, I have this, this old coach case. I've been using it for years, but, um, 
this will fit really nicely in there. So let's take out our car keys because obviously we're not driving if we're abroad. Um, I'll definitely need my headphones, but typically since this old car, uh, passport case has a few card slots, I typically use this for my cards and then I just slide some euros or cash behind the, the fold there and my, my larger bills behind my passport, which is nicely hidden. Um, when you're traveling abroad, obviously, you know, put some money in one wallet and then some in another pocket and vice versa. But anyway, this slides right in perfectly. So we've got our Shiseido blotting papers. I can still get in a card holder if I need to. And of course our headphones, these are nice on the subway or if you're just kind of bumming around and listening to music. And of course, cell phone right back there in front. The Danube, but it's small. It's not ideal for everyday use, but for those days where you don't need to carry a whole lot or you're traveling, it's a fantastic bag. And I'm, I'm really happy that I added it to my collection. All right, guys, so that was my review on the Louis Vuitton Danube 21. What'd you guys think? Is this a bag that you've had in the past or one that you're looking at getting here in the future? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, have a great week. Bye-bye.